I love it. Justin, thank you for popping in here. I appreciate you coming on board and talking a little bit about people are cruising through, looking at testimonials, trying to figure out if this is real, if it's BS. And we're talking the fitness industry here. So I appreciate you popping in to talk just a wee bit about what you discovered from us and how did we do for you? And just to let you know a little bit about uh, Justin, he uh, his wife's name is Stacy. They've been married for 24 years. They have got two kids, a son and a daughter, three dogs and two cats. All right. And so he's a normal dude. Lives in Texas, not that far from me, actually. We haven't met yet, um, but uh, he's from Texas. And a couple of the things that were bothering him when I, you know, some of the reasons he wanted to do this, he said he wanted to show up different to his family. Um, he wanted sound mind, sound body equates to sound mind, and he didn't have that at this point. Uh, he wanted to feel better. He has some people in his life he also wanted to help with this information after he resolved his own issue, and he wanted to be more confident. And this was not your first rodeo. I know back in two thousand six or seven. You had lost 60 pounds and you ended up putting it back on. So not your first rodeo. So why don't you tell people here, what were you struggling with, Justin? You know, before meeting us at Fit Dad Syndicate and coming in the program, what were some of your struggles? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and again, I, was, I guess it's, uh, you know, more, more than just a like a New Year's Eve um, type of, a, 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 of, of a, something I needed to take care of. So when, when I looked at it, I think, you know, I've, I've always been able to. And like you mentioned, in the past, I've lost a tremendous amount of weight. Um, because I gained that tremendous amount of weight. So I've been an up and down guy for most of my life and never really got, uh, you know, down to the, the the weight or the fitness that I've level that I've always wanted to, but I've done, I've done triathlons. I was a swimmer. I was a biker. I was a runner. I, again, so I, I've done all these things and worked very hard in doing cardio for most of my life. And, and the big change now is I'm, I was 48 and the things I was trying before didn't work. The things that I had been doing in my life in the past had not actually worked, and and I was un unable to pull those levers. Um, whether it was you know s simple things like you know you know you know like working out more or doing keto or just having a rhythmic ba rhythmic balance in my life, I just didn't have that, and I was able to I wasn't able to turn it like I used to, right? And so thinking about that, um, I really wanted to do something about it because I was 213 pounds. Um, at the beginning, at the flip of the year this year. And, and, you know, I looked at my mother and she's diabetic and, and a little overweight. My father's got Parkinson's and he's had that for, uh, you know, a few years now and not getting better. And then my older brother's been having, you know, weight issues for, for quite some time. So when I look at those, I needed to change my goals and I needed to figure out how to get to those goals. Right. Um, and then, and, and, and that's really what brought me to you guys here. And, and like I say, I think we found each other um, in this versus versus you know you know me just looking for something and, and that that you guys were there at the right solution at the right time um when I was thinking about joining the fifth dance of the kit. I appreciate it. I know back. I mean just to give you some barometer, he's six foot, he hit 240 at one point, you lost it, went down to 180. And when he came in, he's 210, 213. So he's on his way back up like the whole world does this yo-yo diet, they get down, they go up, it's yeah. an event. And so, you know, what concerns did you have? Like before you met us and you started talking to us a little and researching things, what were your concerns that you personally had about joining Fit Dad Syndicate? Well, I guess, you know, the, the, the number one concern is, is this, is this going to work, right? And of course, and we should all be asking ourselves that. But when I looked at, you know, the old protocols that I was putting in place to try and get to a weight that was satisfactory for me or to even move in that direction, um, I needed to do something because the old protocols weren't working. So... Um, was it genetic? Was it my blood? Was it, was it, was it, was it the, my body type? Is it all these things that you can make excuses of over time, but, um, am I going to be able to do this? And can I, can I make a change and not have to yo-yo anymore? Right. Which is a big component of this is, can, can I do this? So, um, you know, I, I, I talked to my, you know, I talked to my wife and we talk about, you know, whether it's the cost of the program or, or, or whatever, I tell you that, um, just in my wardrobe alone, I paid for this program. And being able to fit back into the clothes that I, you know, you know, the suits and everything that I worked in over the time. That's not why I did it, but it helped, right? But the point is, is I would do it again and I would do it again twice um, to actually be able to feel the way I feel and, and be able to um, have the results that I have today, right? Awesome. Well, let's, let's hear some specifics. People care about the brass tacks. Like, okay, what happened? You were, you're six foot, you were 240, you went down to 180, you're back on your way to 213. So what are your specifics of how you did in this program? Yeah, no doubt. So, so I guess I would, I would call it, uh, I'm in phase two now, but the first, the first phase, the original program I signed up for, um, 
uh, I was 213 on January 3rd. And when I finished my first four months of the program, I was 173 or 40 pounds down when I lost, when, when, when I, when I cut, brought phase one to a close, right? Um, I tell you that I moved the line of my goal, right? Where I thought I needed to be or where I wanted to be. I didn't set an aggressive enough goal to be who I wanted to be or look the way I wanted to look, feel the way I wanted to look. So we kind of moved that goal line along the way because um, the protocols that, that you guys put in place with me helped me get to that place much faster. Um, and I, you know, but I still needed to go to that extra mile. And then I'll tell you, I've been close. I'm closer than I've ever been in my entire life of being the shape that I want to be. Um, not just the shape, but in shape, right. Um, that I want to be. So, um, now I'm just getting started in the, in, in the true muscle phase of this program. And, 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 uh, I'm very excited for, for that and for the coaches to get me there. Uh, that's awesome. And, you know, you, um, the whole world loses weight. The whole world puts the weight on, you know, and as you got down, that's funny because everybody, all of our clients, I'd say 99.9% .9 of our clients adjust their goal. They hit their goal in the program and then they adjust it thinking because there's a lot of limiting viewpoints of what people think they can do and what they think it's going to take to get there. And most of it's wrong. It's not as hard as people think it is. So you came in, I have the number here. 185 is what you said. That was your goal. And you said, what was your number? Your final number? 173 when there I finished. Go. So that's a good example of what it is. So, you know, so the qu the bigger question other than hitting a goal, because you hit a goal back in 2006, you know, the bigger question is, is what you've accomplished so far as far as your body fat level and where you're at? Is this something that you think you can maintain till you're 100 years old as far as staying in this range? That's the key question. Yeah, I would say that I have no excuse not to be able to maintain it now that I know and I've been taught kind of the, the, the way to get there and the way to stay there and to be happy there, Right. Um, I, you know, I think about the rest of my life and I, that's going to be a long time and, and because of this program. Um, so I need to, I need to continue those protocols and continue to stay in that zone. Um, so I have no doubt I've actually, Chuck, you've seen me fall a little bit out of it and get back in it. Um, that happens to the best of us. And, and as we kind of, as we kind of do that, we just being able to turn those protocols back on and see them work is, is, is probably the thing that I know I can do for the rest of my life. Um, it's, I, I just have to do it. Right. Um, when I think about, you know, that kind of, you know, being able to do this or being able to even talk to others about this, this, this type of thing, um, you know, I still have so much to learn in this space. And, and you know, I think if, if anything, uh, before it's cemented deep in my DNA, right. I don't know that I would want to teach others this yet. I would, I would more refer them to you guys because there are, it is such a, it's such a, there's the protocols are so specific to the person and, and, and what that person needs to do in order to achieve those goals. Um, that I would say, uh, I can do this for the rest of my life. I don't know if I could teach this the rest of my life. Right. Cause it's good. Cause everyone's so different. Right. Um, but the big benefit, and Chuck, I didn't, I didn't mention this earlier, but the biggest benefit and, and kind of the, the thing that would keep me doing this the rest of my life is, is not just being able to play with my kids' kids, but actually being able to um, see that how this rubs off, just taking a healthy stance in life and being able to stay in a, in a spot where other people think it's very difficult to get to or even they don't even fathom that. Um, I'll tell you, the people around me during this entire experience – they're not doing the same thing I am, but they have put health at the top of their list, whether it's my mother, my son, my wife, people that I work that work for me, people that I work that work with, um, all different touch points in my life um, are wanting to know what I've done and how 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 can someone do this. So I'll be sending some people your way. Uh, that's all. I appreciate that. Yeah. You said a key thing there where everybody's doing something a little bit different in this program because there's not one fit solution. What you find restricted, maybe I don't. And what someone else finds restricted, maybe you don't. So the whole premise is to be able to find something that works for you through the course of the rest of your life. And I appreciate you saying that. So there's a lot of people on here that are perusing late night, looking at these testimonials, thinking, should I book a call or I got a call book? Should I do this? Should I not? What would you say for the per to the person that's like sitting on the fence trying to evaluate? I mean, we're talking the fitness industry here, so there's got to be corruption. Yeah, right? yeah. There's got to be wrongness to this thing somehow. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to that person that's kind of looking at this video right now and it's two in the morning and they're thinking, should I cancel my call or what should I do? No, I, I think I think it's a good point, and I'll, I'll be a little bit more brash on my answer here because I think it's important for those people that say they want to make a change. If you're serious about your health, your future, your family – and you want to make a meaningful change, I'll tell you, this, this, is, this is one leap you want to take. Um, 
if you don't hang up the phone, shut the computer down, continue to lose. Cause if you're not serious, you're, you're going to continue to and not take charge of your health. You're not going to get, you, you, this is the wrong program for you. If you're ready. And, and remember um, when, when, you know, there's two, there's two different ways of changing in your life. One is you can get drugged through it, which none of us like to get happen to us. But if you are a leader and you want to actually create the change in your life, um, this is the program that, that I would say will do that for you and, and, and have so many other benefits. That's interesting. You mentioned the change in your life because everybody's looking for the physical change. They want to look better. But you know what? It's crazy how your confidence level changes when you finally resolve the fitness. You show up different to dates with your wife. You show up different to yourself in the mirror. You show up different to a boardroom meeting. In business, I mean, it affects everything so adversely when your body's not great. So I really appreciate getting to know you, Justin, and I appreciate you coming in here and taking the bull by the horns, as well as some of the people in your family that you do want to help as you go through this thing. But we need to help ourselves first before we can help somebody else. So with that being said, if somebody wants to book a call, uh, there's, there's a link above me or below me somewhere. All you got to do is go into my calendar, fill out um, a scheduler, and I'll do a short chat with somebody to get a vibe for what your goals are. And I'll, I'll give you a 10,000 foot view of what we do to help people before you make a decision. And it's not there to sell you. It's for you to make a logical decision. So if you want to do that, you can book a call. Justin, I very much appreciate you being on here. And we will see you uh, in phase two, brother. Absolutely. We're not done yet. We'll talk soon, Chuck. Thank you.